All right, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Akeem. Welcome to this blog. Here to continue with more blogs for the Big Ten Conference for the 2015 college football season. Now, for this blog, I'm here to talk about the Rutgers Scarlet Knights. Now, like the University of Maryland, they actually had a good first year in the Big Ten Conference, actually going eight and five overall in their record and making it to a bowl matchup. Now, despite the fact that they allowed 30 points per game defensively, they still went eight and five. I think that they deserve a little bit more credit than what they get and get more recognition for head coach Kyle Flood. He should possibly get big coach of the year if he does this again because he's going to have to play without quarterback Gary Nova who led this team, so which means Chris Laviano or Hayden Reddick who's going to battle things out at quarterback, but I think this is Laviano's job to take. Now, as far as the weapons on the offensive side, the one weapon that I am looking at is their star wide receiver in Leonte Oncaro who had 1080 86 yards receiving and 10 scores on the air. This is a good senior wide receiver, a decent prospect for the 2016 NFL Draft. I think he's going to be a late round selection as of today. Now, as far as their ground attack, they averaged 162 yards per game, which is not bad. And five players had over 300 yards rushing last season. I think this year, Paul James will be the guy that should be the number one running back in that depth chart. And he should be get the bulk of the carries this upcoming season. Now, on the defensive side, they don't really have that many stars. There's only one player that I do like a little bit, and that is linebacker Steve Lunga. Six foot one, 225 pounds. He needs to do... Uh, do or better job as a leader on the team and as a team on the defensive side they need to create more turnovers that is their biggest issues and I, I think uh, they're going to struggle a little bit this season as well now as far as their recruits they did pick up two four-star recruits which is great and the, the number 25 defensive end Mar Marquez uh, Marcus on um, Ford and as well as the cornerback Blessing on um, Austin those are two four-star recruits to address the defensive side that is a huge help they did a great job addressing the defensive end with these these two recruits and offensively they picked up the number 96 wide receiver and, and six foot two 200 pounds and a Jay Clayton I think he could be a star as a freshman this upcoming season because of his size if he does not start this year he could be on the lookout for 2016 but he should wet his beak a little bit as a true freshman now overall this year they had a great year last season going eight and five but I think this year they're gonna go six and six this upcoming season but still become bowl eligible now the next time to catch you guys will be just in a couple of minutes i have one more blog for you for today thank you for watching this blog i'm your man akeem mccall be easy